Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We got Doug in the house, and we are on air. Yesterday, we made a paper pattern of a quarter panel for a 56 Plymouth. It's made out of paper. We stuck it on with magnets. If you did not see, go back and watch if you want to. We transferred the pattern to a piece of metal, and now we're going to make the quarter panel. Uh, we have, what do we have? We have the will and the want, and that's basically all you need, I guess. Um, something like this is on a lot of the old cars, and people are afraid to how to attack that. You can't buy a new quarter panel, you can't fix it. Well, basically what you have to do is you just have to go for it, and that's what I'm going to do. I do not know exactly if we're going to get it perfect or whatever, but uh, in the end we will make it work, no doubt in my mind. We have a, pa we have a metal pattern there. Uh, the paper pattern can go bye-bye right now. I just wanted to show you that, how we transferred it over. We'll just take this and get rid of it. Um, what, what's going on with this, with this panel as, as, it's, as it's right there? There's a few probably different ways that you could do it. Um, I'm going to do it my way and I'm going to try to make it as easy as I can for myself. You could, if you had an eight foot roller, you could put it through the roller eight feet and then you could bend it and, and do the brake work down there and, and roll that and do that if you had an eight foot roller. I do not have an eight foot roller and most people do not have an eight foot roller. You also could have the English wheel and back and forth, back and forth, for hours and hours, whatever it, long it takes um, to make that shape. And the, and the English wheel would make this shape or get it for you as close as you need it, have it to start to make it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I have a four foot roller. I have a four foot brake. I'm going to cut it in half. Just going to make it easier for myself and I'll butt weld it back together. Uh, no harm, no foul. So what I'm going to do right at the present moment to start with is I'm going to figure out on the roller how much I want to roll the quarter panel before I put this, cut this in half. I'm going to figure that out. So basically what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to set that right there for a second. I got a piece of metal right here. I'm just going to figure out how far I want to roll that. That's rolled too far. We'll just take a look at that for a second. Roll too far. Just a bit. <laughs> just a bit, Doug? Just, just a little bit. Will you pass that tape me, please, Doug? We'll do this as promptly as possible, I guess. I'm going to roll this out. I'm just going to, on the back side, I just do a little measurement and see if I can get it basically the same. That's basically what I do. It's going to make it easy for me and you. I'm just measuring down three and a quarter on this side. And I'll do down three and a quarter on this side. Get it somewhere close. That's so what we need. Is somewhere close. Get a pair of glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Some metal. So there's more than one way to skin a cat on this. So this is not the only way that. Straight note there. Metal. back the other way just so, just to see what I'm going to get for a roll. Let's do it again so we can get a true read. If we have a little bit more than we need, that's lovely, isn't it? That is lovely. You got a little bit more than we need. You can see how it's holding out a little bit. Nice. Beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, Jolene, but beautiful. All right. I, I, I like that. I'm going to keep that. So that's our template. Well, let's cut this in half. Doug's going to get ready with the zip cut. I'm going to give him a line to cut. and He can cut it. Try to make it, what was I gonna, I'm going to say is, try to make a straight as line as possible, Doug, with a zip cut. And the reason being is, is I'm going to um, butt weld it back together. 
and I'd like to have a nice so we'll have a little gap in between when we weld it back together and uh, that's what we'll do we'll cut it in the middle somewhat we'll see what the length of it is first stay on there we're at eight, seven feet so um, three and a half feet can't, I can't work this tape measure I can but Three and a half feet. Three. One, two, three, four, five. This that's 42 is fine. One, two, three, four, five. That's fine. I want that level or square, please. We'll do it. That thing is twisted up like that. <laughs> <laughs> I always do, Doug. I always do. We'll put that along there. Right, get that straight. Doug's going to cut that in half. Go for it, Douglas. Cut it in half. Just awesome. Just one thing. Let me think a little bit for a sink. Go for it. While he's cutting that, while he's cutting that right there, I know, this is what I know for sure. When we cut this quarter panel off, we want to cut it off, but I'm going to do, we're going to leave a little bit of meat all the way around the whole outside the perimeter. So as he's cutting that off, I'm going to run the two inch tape along the perimeter. He can cut that. Did you just cut that in half? You can tell we're a little oil can there. That's fine. Because it is what it is. So basically, let's do this, get that a little higher. Sure. Okay. Go here and make it straight. So basically what's gonna happen when we zip cut this off, we'll come in here and zip cut along here. Doesn't much matter, we can just make a straight line across here just to make it easy. Instead of trying to cut that little notch out, there's not much to do with that. So we'll just cut it. We'll come up here, cut this here, cut straight across here, up here, all along that, down that side of the tape there. We'll end up pulling the quarter panel off. Let's let's make the quarter panels first and see what, see if we can get them to fit somehow or somewhat. Um, you're going to want a pair of gloves on, Douglas, just because the metal's sharp. Um, this is this quarter panel on this side. So we want to roll it this way. I'm going to get you help me with the brake, the brake part, Doug. I'll roll this. You want to come grab this piece of metal as I roll it through? Basically, I'm just shoving this piece of metal in here on the roller, and uh, you'll get it on the other side. Doug's on the other side. On the other side. Now, let's take it over and just lay it on the car. 
just to see what we got. Doug, you're just gonna go in the back, sorry, just help me hold it, that's all. Basically, good thing you caught that. We're going with the wheel opening that we have here. Just go with this part. We're gonna line this all up. Make believe that we know what we're doing. Okay. Looks good. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Just let's, let's hold it back up again. Putting it, we got it on the line up there. Got it under there. Just look and see if our line's bent. Okay. Let's bend our piece down the bottom. We're gonna bend this. We're gonna bend this on the brake. It needs a little more roll right here, but we can we can we can do that. It's just a piece of 18 gauge. This is what this is, 18 gauge. Actually, Doug, I want to roll this through one more time. And the reason I want to roll through one time, one more time, is I want it to have a good memory of what, what we're doing. If that makes sense. Roll it one more time. Cool. You got a hold of it. Let's bring it over here. Let's take and we need uh, this piece bent underneath. So we need to make a line on the. This side, you got, have you got a, got a marker on me? I'm gonna transfer the, transfer the line that we have on this side to the other side, because that's the way we gotta bend it. And then we'll leave that one there. Not a very nice line, to be honest with you, but. And the reason it's not a nice nine because it's not precise. But we can always jack it up a little bit. All right. Prior to pair down, just a second now. Let's get it in the middle of the line. Get in the middle. Yep. Let's pull up on this sucker. We're not making a 90. We're just going to make a close to. This stuff got stuff in the way here. Hard to believe we put stuff away, but it's true. It's all piled in one spot. All right, listen. Uh oh. I know, I don't want that to fall. Oh well, it is what it is, Doug. Um, let's go a little bit further. Let's try that. We have a piece here. Drop, Doug. Just a second. Let her, yeah, bring her down, bring her down. Happy? Nope, nope, put it up. Try it now. Okay. Hoping that, let's bring the piece of metal up with us. Less than a 90. Just a second now. Yes, less than a 90, right there, be fine. And the reason being is, is I'm gonna say less than a 90, if, I've, I've said it before, when I go to put this panel on, if I make that a complete 90, it, not, it might not reach over and touch my inside sill, or my inside sill, There's, this is the outside quarter panel, wheel wells in here, my inside sill comes down here. If I bend in a full 90, do not know if that's going to hit. If I have my inside panel comes down, at least if I have it less than a 90, this end piece is going to go over and hit it. That's basically what I'm doing there. Less than a 90. You're at the wheel well, Doug. Doug doesn't want gloves on. I'm right on my line. Looks good. And I'm pulling that over some to get to. Now, seeing that's too much of a bend we got going on there, that's fine. And we haven't got enough bend. See right, right there? Okay. It's 18 gauge metal. Nothing, no harm, no foul. Just want to hold that there. Just going to bend it back, back a little bit. That's nothing. Just lean on it. I'm big, fat, and tough. And then we're going to roll this a little bit. Just gonna roll her up. Just 
like the rim of the of your coffee cup. Roll her up. Let's stick it on there again. And we'll make it come down just a bit more. And you don't know and generally until you get it over here and try on it, but that's the deal. And I like to have And that, closer. that might be holding me up too a little bit, this piece right here. I'm going straight down. Okay. And that's quite thick as you can tell right there. That's I like that's sort of a mess. But. It's weird because I'm trying to push it up and then I'm trying to bend it back. So it's kind of half a dozen one the other. Let's try it. Now, if I take and I'm just gonna bend down here a little bit. See on this part, come take a look at this part, sweetheart. We're not fitting bad, not, not fitting bad, but what's going on is this piece here I got going to the sill. If I bent that more than a 90, it'll let that come in, let this come in a little further if I bend that in further, and that's probably what I'm going to do. Do you see what I was doing there, baby? Mm -hmm. See, if I take and bend this, this piece straighter, it'll be able to go in further. Mm -hmm. let's, let's just do that for a second. We're going to take that piece and bend it in a little further. on our line, Doug. Bring her down. Bring her down. Yep. Let's just pry up on it a little bit and just get it to go a little bit further. Her ah. girl. All right, that's it. Yep. Went too far on it this time, I'm thinking. But we can always clamp it back. We can always pry it back. I'm gonna come down here and look for this fit right now. Not worried about the back at the present moment. And yeah, we get not bad. And we can make it fit. We can make it fit there. It's not so bad. Not so bad. A little bit long right there. But We'll get it. Okay. That's that piece. Also, you want to hold that right there. Just hold that there, Doug, for a sec. I'm just going to bend this right here. And she's going to bend it the whole way. Just sheet metal, people. Just sheet metal. She'll bend. Or else. All right. Leave that there. Let's get this piece. This piece here. Let's roll this piece. We know we've got the same. This is the front. We want to roll it like this. We'd be trying to do the exact same thing with the wheel, but it would not be as fast. Alrighty. Now we have, what do we have? We have 
a lie, a groove going on here. I've got it marked on there. Set that on there for a sec, yeah. Does that fit good up there as it does? Like the roll and everything? That roll is yeah, quite nice, isn't it? That's really good. I think we're gonna leave dead on. the roll. We got her a little bit long in the back here, which we're supposed to have, because we want sheet metal. We have our groove going where we want our groove going. There's our groove right here. Let's put it right up to the line there, Doug. I'm gonna get off. Thank you, Doug. Just go ahead. Is this all fitting? Like, yeah, bigger fit right there. That's good. All right, that's where our groove is, where our mark is. We got all these little divots here. I put all them little divots in the metal. That's where it's supposed to be. Now we're gonna put that in there. I'm not sure yet how. Um, it would be nice if you could just wheel it into something and take that groove. That groove is way in there, way too far. Way too far. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Let's go back to the roller. Get my glove on. Let's set the metal up here. I can see my marks from the other side, so you can see them all. I'm gonna, you want to hold the sheet metal back there? Just hold it back there, Doug. You can see this side hasn't got much, much at all, really. Like, it's just got a little bit of shape. And uh, it's already been patched. It's already been patched. So we're going to put that in the center of that. And we're on pretty well center of that, yeah. Pretty good. All right now, we've got a little groove going on there. Now we need that back. Now we need this piece back. We need this piece back. Got a groove going on there, that's good. Now we need to roll this back. Nope, I want it to stick to what it is. Let's go back this way more, son. Get that in there straight. No, I don't want to go up tight. I want to get one end in there first. I'm just gonna hold up on that. Here, Doug, I want you to roll that out while I hold while I do my deal. Out, out this other way. Yeah, keep coming, keep coming. Not bad. Not trying to do the whole. Let's do it again. Put a little more bend in her. And then we'll do the wheel thing again. If you want to hold that. Do it there somewhere. Oh, if I get up on something. Yeah. Trying, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to line this up with this because that's straight. Doesn't matter what that is. We want to make the pull this out a little bit. Wheel it in. Go for it. Bring it out. Go ahead. Yep. Okay, Doc, go for it. Roll it in. There you go. Yep. Keep going. Good. Roll it out. Yeah. 
got our panel. We got something underneath there. That's why that's being what it's being. All right. I'm going to bring it in there. We're going to roll that and get that come back. We'll roll it into here and then we'll just pry it back further. All right. So, roll that in, please. Yep. We want it straight with this, right? Yeah. That looks straight there? Yeah, it looks straight. This sec. All right, that's what we're right there. Bum, bum, bum. Tradesies, let's roll back here. We got a little much there, but have to start somewhere. Just hold it up so it fits. Back. All right, I'm okay with that once that gets pried in. We're gonna have to take that in there. That's beat in there quite a ways. You see this? Oh, we got We've got shape. I'm not sure if we need a little bit of that. Yeah, it's a little much, isn't it? Yeah. Um, make it a little tighter is what it could probably. Let's hold it up there again. Nope. I'm happy with it. Nope, I'm happy with it. And the reason being is that once that quarter panel comes off the inside, that, well, that'll go right in there where that shape's supposed to be. All right, I'm going to take We've got a little more shape on this one. We're going to weld this back together. Um, this one's got more, a little more shape. Um, nope, just gonna go with it. Let's turn the welder on. sweating bullets. Can you tell? Holy rootin' it's warm. Holy rootin'. Just gonna tack the sucker back together. Should be not, not an issue. And the reason I'm saying it's not an issue is because it, it cut apart with a zip cut. So if we just tack it back together, take our time. Use a couple good clamps. Maybe even the long one. It might be a little bit too much roll going on there, but we can. Ah! I'm just going to weld it. We got our zip cut mark apart. Nope. We're a little bit off there. Give me a zip cut, Doug, please. That's probably a little. We'll see. Ba, ba, ba. Now we'll stop it. There. Let's 
just get this clamp back together. I'm off there a little tiny bit. But... Use an 18 gauge. Alrighty. Now, we still have a roll in it, and I'll tell you why. If you look at it, it's hitting the ground there, and it's holding up off the ground here. We've got a little bit of contour going to it. That's just fine. Just about weld it back up together, get a little bit of sweat rolling on it. Let's move. Thanks, sweetheart. Let's move the quarter panel. Yeah, I just want to pick it. I don't want to pick it up, so it's. Let's take this, lay it over against the door. Let's cut the old one off. You got a little bit of a. That's. I don't think that's much, to be honest with you. It no, it looks pretty good. And it'll be able to be pushed on. When it's, once it's welded down here, it'll already take some shape out of it. Um, do you want to cut the quarter panel off, Doug? You want me to cut it off? Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> uh, zip cut. We need to get the something over the top of the windows. Let's do this. Take hold of the other end. You go the other Put this thing to sleep. Maybe up on the side window there, maybe. I don't know if a magnet will hold it or not. Nothing. All right. Doug, you want to just grab the keys and open up the trunk to see if I'm cutting off anything special? Anyone cut that? No. No. Nope. close to it. Anything you, I'm getting close to, you just want to pull it out of the way, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, sometimes it's poor repair. Am I hitting it? No, it's still uh...
there. Two layers going on is what we got going on. We're cutting through two layers. I don't really want to cut that off. So we got two layers going on there. Doug's pulling them apart. You can see how one's bronze over top of the other. That's fine. We have not got a trunk extension in there. Uh, and, uh, good news. What's that? Oh, you got the big one, bud. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. That's great news. We got a big one. <laughs> We'll get this cut off and then we'll see how our quarter panel is going to fit. I don't think we got a bump out on the quarter panel on the one we have here. We might have to straighten that quarter panel out there. That was the part I was concerned about with that piece there, but it can go back. It can go back. <laughs> Let's just cut it off right here. Watch your eyeballs out. Doubled up there. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah. Let me do right here, Doug. I'm just gonna Check wind this out. That wheel well don't look bad, does it? No, not at all. Awesome. Wasn't expecting that. No, not at all. So I'm glad we didn't cut it. So there's, they've got a nice wheel up there. The wheel, the wheel tub's really nice. Just this, all this metal just got to be peeled off it. That's all. Yeah, it's nice. I think that piece of wood was factory. Mm -hmm. 
Now we have a little bit of inside construction going on there. Some most turds. Yeah, we're gonna have to peel that off. A couple layers there too. Mm. Mm. You got that right. All right, the wheel well is really good in this. Hard to hard to believe. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. That's not original by no means. But there. Good stuff. I'm gonna pull that off there because we don't want to go over top of it. There's already one, two there now. Get a screwdriver and pull that stuff off. Whew. 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 See what we got going on here. Not sure if I like that that much, but we'll see what happens. I can always straighten it back out. We just don't want that stuff there. What, Doug? Oh, that's good, East man. That's all the good stuff. That's all the good stuff. We're getting into her now, baby. No backing out. So, this is why you probably, you know, most people that want their car restored, uh, you get a car like this and you want to take it somewhere and you want to get it restored, how, how would anybody um, quote this when you, do, when you have no idea what's there or what's not there? How would, you, how would you quote that? Not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. There's quite a bit I've got to dig out of here yet. So, I want to straighten that out. 
We've got the bottom of that going. We have got I'm going to peel that off. That's got to come off and that's up inside there. I'm going to cut that off. And the reason I cut it off because it's got to go. It got to go. Hmm. Pair of channel locks over there, Doug. Everybody scrape that something. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking go from gas. Get off, and we can see what our sill is gonna fit like after. Maybe well, we're not yet because we're ripped. We're all the way along there. Someone put a piece all the way along there, and that, it's not that good. So we're gonna rip it out and fix it. That's what it's all about. Now, what we have going on, what we have going on here, is a mess. And I and I knew it, and I knew it, and I just dove into it like nobody's other. So basically, what we have is we'll get it cleaned off here. See if we can't get that quarter panel tried on to see what it, you know, looks like, fits like, I guess. Do this. Check it for the gas. Watch yourself. Kind of nervous of the gas cap is here. Okay, good. It's in there quite a ways. And we got double metal back here. I should have known that's what I was cutting. People say when I weld something up, oh, it's gonna fall apart. I can't even get that little piece of metal come apart. <laughs> and that's rusted and been there forever. Like
All righty. I'll spin this back up. You can see what happened here. I'm gonna take a look if you like, Jolene. Somebody has used ground stock for the bottom of the quarter pound. You see how they got that bent there and you got a piece of ground stock there? That's not, I wouldn't say that's original, that's not original. Um, but it, it did the purpose what they needed to do. They cut off the trunk extension itself that came down to the quarter panel. What I always, what I generally like to do is I like to make the trunk extension go to the quarter panel after I have the quarter panel on because the outside is what I want to look at. But as we have this ripped off, we've got it somewhat ripped off. Just want to look at it for a minute. Doug's digging at it. There's going to be a lot more digging at it. Pull that off. I don't know if I like this part here. It went too far with the bend or not. But we will see. I'm over top that gas. We know where it goes on because we have a line. Ooh, that fits good. Ooh, that fits good, don't it, Doug? Huh, Doug? Nice, buddy. Huh? Yeah. Let's get a we're going to get a self-tapping thing going on. Let's just let this quarter panel down. Not going to put the quarter panel on yet, by no means. Don't be, oh, they're going to put the quarter panel over top of all that. No, we're going to have to clean a lot of that off. And, and what, this is what's going to happen. Oh, this is what's going to happen for me. I'm going to clean a lot of this off. Or I'm probably, no, I probably won't clean it all off. And, and this, I'm going to tell you the reason why. When we come into the trunk, and we clean in the trunk a little bit, we're going to make our own trunk extension. So we're going to make our own trunk pieces to come meet the quarter panel. And for us to clean all that off, when we can go over there and bend something up and put in there to make it look right, what's going to happen by, by the looks of things or how I feel about things, when the quarter panel's going on, you would expect, or you sort of would expect, um, the trunk extension to be gone. That is the piece that goes. It's windy out. That is the piece that comes down and meets the quarter panel. And that's the inside piece. That, whatever it is. That's the piece that comes down and meets on the inside of that. We'll have to fix that after. Wasn't expecting the wheel well to be in such good shape, but that's absolutely excellent. We'll get that metal ripped off there before we apply this panel. That way there, when we, we apply our new lip on here, we'll be able to apply it to the wheel well itself. And then we know it's tight and right. But this stuff here will be fixed after. We'll cut this out um, probably before we even mount the quarter panel. And we'll cut some stuff out down there and we'll fix that when the quarter panel's on. I'm gonna get the drill and the self-tapper and we're just gonna self-tap the quarter panel on because I want to see what it looks like. And that's basically it. and to get it to fit. So with me putting it on with the self-tappers, um, we can take it on and off. But in all honesty, we get to see how well it fits. And then we can make it fit even better. Remember, um, we just, you know, we just did a few things to it and, and made that. Um, we're hoping that to get this a bit for that drill. Right back, Doug. You're doing a fine job, Doc. You're doing Thanks, a fine buddy. job. <laughs> what do you think, Doug, cutting this whole quarter panel? What do you think? Uh, it's in better shape than I thought it was going to be. The quarter panel? Yeah, I thought there was going to be a lot more tar and crack in here than there was. But, I mean, it could have looked worse. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, I guess that's the bit. glasses back on how about you um, we'll get you on the other end that way there I can start it off at the door basically we want to know or I want to know let's get her up let's get her get it put on the line the 
door is not going to come open right there, but I'm pretty well at where the quarter panel wants to go. I'm going to just do this. Just to hold it. You can use your, your Glicos or whatever you want to use. Uh, I like the self-tappers. Come up a little bit, Doug. Come up to our line. Yeah. I like the self-tappers because it... Because they hold and pull together nice and tight um, to take your time and... This drill has no slow speed. It has full, full what? Here's your new one. I didn't want to. I didn't want to show off, Doug. Show my new drill. No. Just cut it. How's your wheel well feel? Awesome. Good. Pulls that together nice. Yeah. I'm gonna put that over top of that. And the reason being is, we're gonna end up playing with it a little bit. Alrighty, what I mean by playing with it, we're gonna get it to fit. We're a little bit beyond there, I'm fitting down there good at the door. Fitting. That's got to go in further. So that's that, there's a big square chunk of there, and it's not letting that in. So that's going to have to be cut off, so that lets that in. We're not even close to being in far enough. That piece of poop right there is holding us. So, wheel well fitting good. Wheel well's fitting good. Not sure if I like and see where we have the, don't mind that. How's it fitting in there, Doug? Needs to be pushed in. Needs to be pushed in, does it? Pretty good. Okay, but we're in the right direction. Yeah, that's no big deal. We're in the right direction. So it needs to be rolled more up. Great. Well, that's kicked in. That's hammered right in. <laughs> Heard. Um, uh, let's do this. Yeah, we got a little bit of a kick out. Too much. Got a little too much right here, maybe. I'm not sure. But once that's in there, it doesn't look like it's too much, does it? Not at all. Pair clamps. Something like this, you're not, it's like, let's face it, we're not gonna have it um, bang on the very first time. It's gonna take a lot of finessing to get it to work, but it can be done. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> I wanna get up on top of that. Nope, don't wanna do it, I don't wanna dent it. There we go. Where's your gloves? In my pocket. <laughs> yeah, we're lots of excess air. Lots of excess, like all that. Lots of excess that has to be beat in there a little bit. Can be straightened. If we get too much of a line going on there, there's nothing to that. All right, there's our start of our quarter panel. That doesn't look bad. It's a start. That's basically a start. There's a lot going on to get this to fit and, and get it to fit right. What I'd like to do there, and what I'm going to do there 
is I'm going to put a self tapper through the end of that. It's going to haul it in, hold it, and make me happy. I'll get a longer one. Let's do a second here. I'll get a longer one. I have a bit here. I get a longer one in it. And then we can haul it in so it's tight. Take this one. Using what I have. Using what I have. And all I got right now is the will and the one. Jam that sucker right in there. See what that did for that? Huh? There ain't no Glico that does that. There's no Glico that does that. Now we're able to tap, hit, do whatever we want to do to get that in. That is beat in there quite a ways. I know that for a fact because that's that's what it was. It was beat in there quite a ways. We're lots long here, and that's great because we have some to play with. We have to figure out. We got a piece down here at the bottom. You can see that piece down the bottom down there. That's all going to have to. We're going to have to probably come along there with a marker or pen and 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 uh, mark that, and then we're going to have to bend that lip up. So this quarter panel, for no doubt, and for no doubt, in my mind is coming back off. But. It feels some nice and straight. I'm going to put another one down there. I should have used the square self tappers, but um, put a small one in there. Get the bit. I'm going to just lock that down if I can. See what we got. And as long as we keep both sides the same, who would ever know? I want to cut that back a little bit there. Yeah, it's going to be a so it's just a second. Door. It's like I got a sanding wheel here. Where's the... No, the grinder's over here. I got the sanding wheel. Just want to sand it back a little bit so the door will open. I knew that wasn't straight when we cut it, but uh, let's face it, it was the pattern. Hold that in there, Doug, so it's nice. No, nope, there in the middle. I'll hold the top. Yeah, hold that in so it's nice there. Left the two inch edge all the way around, so this is so I can stick it on with the self tappers. That's why we left that two inch all the way around, and it helps us give a shape. Alrighty. Everything is nice and straight, nothing's bent up, nothing's hammered yet, not whatsoever. That's our wheel opening that we have because it fits, we have that pattern. Um, there's some work to do down in the back here, yes there is. I'm okay with this down here. I'm, I'm liking that actually, I really like that. I looked at the other panels out there and they're basically about the same. We have some uh, patch panels that are both the same, I just don't think it does that there, but that's an easy fix or an easy thing to straighten out, it's just right there. That there, there is a piece of metal in here that's holding that out. There we go. A pair of ice grips. 
just wanted to make it fit the best I can for the for the time being. Oh, the other vice grips. I got more vice grips hanging around places that. Let's put this one on. Just look, took a piece of metal out of that. Get this fitting good so it looks half decent. Pretty close. That's what we made it for, Doug. Did we get our gloves made? And another thing too, you do not want to be zinging it right on as hard as it can go because in actual fact, we don't want to bruise it. We haven't put it on yet. So we got a piece of metal in there we got to fix. That's got to come down some. Don't like that. But to be honest with you, <laughs> who says it didn't act, it wasn't like that because we've got it straight. They have not. We'll see what happens anyways. Yeah, that's actually... Alrighty, there's the start of the quarter panel. You can like, share, comment, um, do whatever you like. Uh, get someone to subscribe. We're just kind of doing patch repair. Um, anybody can do this. This is a quarter panel. We're making from scratch. We did not have any special gear. We had a roller and the brake to bend that. And you can do the exact same thing. But what has to happen now is you just got to keep working everything. Um, like the bottom of this piece, we'll have to work this piece, and I have to work the bottom of that piece up there um, to get it where I'm happy. I'm not happy with that yet. I'm happy with the wheel opening. I'm happy that there's no dents in it, there's no rust in it whatsoever, and uh, that's what we're going for. So we'll end up do a lot of cleaning around the wheel well and the bottom, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll, show, you, we'll show you some more. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Um, as we're making this quarter panel, you can make one also. Have a great day, everybody.